Hello, Days and Oz fans. This is for Tuesday, uh, April the 2nd. Ava and Harris are just getting jiggy and chilling a little bit, hanging out in the bed all day long, getting a little jiggy. Uh, she makes breakfast for him in bed, and they're just spending time together, relaxing. Another couple trying to do the same thing, except they're not relaxing, is Chanel and Johnny. She's short of help, so he decides to help her in the bakery, and they did a little baking of their own in the storage room on top of some soft bags of flour. Remember now, they're honeymooners. They decide they're going to go to that cabin, the Horton cabin. Chad visits Abigail. He tells her how sorry he is for what happened to her, how sorry he is about Clyde being loose. He says it's his fault because he threatened Clyde. It's his fault the house burned down. He starts crying and saying, you know, the maniac tried to kill our babies by burning the house down. Julie is busy with renovations. She calls Stephanie in to help her uh, pick paint colors and stuff and told Stephanie she was just trying to get her mind off Everett. And she told her a few little things. And then Chad walked in, but he wasn't expected till tomorrow. Julie scurries off to get some tuna fish sandwiches and apples that she's got packed away in the cooler, and Chad and Stephanie uh, comfort each other a little bit and tell each other they're there for each other, no matter what they're going through. They're still friends. Chad uh, confesses to Julie. He's been to Abigail's grave, and he misses her so much. He's crying. She hugs him and tells him, you know, we all miss her. We go through this together. Everett agrees to hypnosis. did not go well. At first, things are good. He sees his mother, and then he sees something horrible. We see a flash of him in the dark. I think it's his other personality. He won't tell Marlena exactly what happened, but later when Stephanie ran into him in the pub and she asked him how it go went, he said it was the most horrifying thing he had ever seen. He's seen something that scared him to death. 